guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode three of season two of Jobless Reincarnations. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Good. We want that. Well, of course. <laughs> Babe, she's your rebound. So, you know, take her by the balls. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't tell her about your first love or really your second love. Excuse me. Excuse me, oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and she even dressed up too. <laughs> Yeah, so you definitely gotten bigger. Of course, that's not what happens with us. <laughs> There you go, good boy! Oh! 
Right. Well, maybe she's asking for it. Hello. Sometimes we do that. Because right now she does not look tipsy. But you're not hard. <laughs> well, we shouldn't stay like that. We're all gonna be positioned. <laughs> oh no. I'm just laughing at the fact is that's the one part that they can't show in an uncensored. Oh damn! But like, yes, we cannot show him nude, but in the uncensored, in this uncensored one, we definitely can. <laughs> mm, poor baby, he couldn't get it off. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I, if I was in this situation, I I definitely would. Because then you're gonna question everything. Now it's gonna be awkward between you because of this. Oh. Oh, di
right? He just really had a bad day. Oh. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> oh, baby, no, it's okay. It's fine. Mm hmm. You're around the guys, so you don't need to end all like fanciness. Why do you think you couldn't get it up? Mm hmm. Makes more sense, duh. So you feel like Sarah will also leave you as well? See? That's all you had to do. Yes. <laughs> and okay. Oh my god. I feel so bad for him. Oh, baby. He's so cute. I love him. But see, that's my thing. I don't think he screwed up. He did everything fine. Uh-huh. First, yeah, you gotta have him sleep with a prostitute. I wonder how the hell this is gonna go. I mean, she has to have red hair. And her name starts with an E? Mm. so sweet like oh my god i'm polite about asking oh my god <laughs> so how you feel better Yeah, how'd it go? Mm. Anybody to roleplay as 
as her and such. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, seriously. About Sophie. I know. Maybe. Yeah. You you kind of went a little too fast with her. I mean, damn, you immediately both of them. Well, you immediately took her clothes off and such. You just like, all right, let's go. Like, damn. But hold up. You need to kind of like coach each other first before getting into the main show. I think she'll really understand if you talk to her. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, you just said it in my eyes, you all heard it, oh. Behind you. Is she about to beat the shit out of you, babe? No sex for you. <laughs> At all. I agree. Uh -huh. No. And beg for her forgiveness. Well, I think he likes you now after, you know.
Yeah, who knows? You might go to another freaking <laughs> place and find someone who you can get it up for, baby. <laughs> Fell for him now. Like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> poor, poor baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to be in that situation, because I, I mean, oh God, I can't, I can't even compliment on that because I'm not a guy. Because <laughs> you know, like, I, I feel for y'all, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then of course, like if we if we try on you guys and it still doesn't work, we we feel like no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we feel like we're the problem and then we get pissed. And, and then you guys are like, no, 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 no. And then we're like, but this and that and this and like that. <laughs> oh. And I get it because he he still loves Edis. Like I I get it one hundred percent. And because yes, you're truly afraid that someone. Any girl, any woman who you meet is going to be like that. So he, he's the type of guy who is not into what it seems like one night stands. Like he really wants to be committed into a relationship with someone before having sex with them. Damn, y'all just missed him. But still, poor baby. Poor baby. He tried. He tried. Even with the fact that he went. <laughs> oh my god. He went to prostitutes and still didn't get her up. Like, oh, baby. Oh. I feel for it. <laughs> Not. Oh my god. Th this week overall, first we had condoms and fucking, um, <laughs> report <laughs> as a vending machine and now this for today's episode. I mean, honestly, once again, I'm not mad at it because we're, I, I really like the fact that we're going into the safe sex territory and such, in a way, and such, and just the characterizations and everything else about it. it it's interesting and it's still more educational and stuff because... The world out here today ain't really gonna teach you fucking everything, so you know, you gotta learn somewhere. But you still feel bad for Rudy because you'd be like, damn, you don't even have <laughs> You have nothing. Yeah, you have this. You can go to a prostitute and such, but you don't have this. No internet. No interwebs and such. It's, ooh, baby. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, I really definitely think he is the type of guy who wants to be in a fully committed relationship with a girl before having sex. I mean, yes, him and it is they they were kind of not really, like, yes, they were on and off, but they never really, like, established what they were as the relationship, quote-unquote, and such. And so, because, of course, it is his first time, it's her first time, it's very, like... 
important to the both of them and such. And especially when you are done, um, you cuddle and you're supposed to be like together and very intimate even after that going on into the next day and such. And so for her to leave him in that moment where he's very vulnerable and intimate with her, like, of course he... He feels hella vulnerable and, and just depressed about that. And so I think, you know, once again, with the, it's the time word. The time word. And I just, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I mean, damn, baby. I feel for you. I, I really do. Like, even with the fact that I've been laughing in this whole fucking episode. But shit, I really feel bad for him. Because, like. If it was any other girl in that situation and, you know, we find out that you can't get it up, like, <laughs> what most of us will look side-eyed, most of us would look very concerned, and then most of us would be questioning everything, but like, yeah, once again, is it me or is it this? Did I not do this right and such? Oof. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. You need, you need time. You need time. And you need to see her one more time and to just get lay out everything on the line, how you have been truly feeling since that day. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we do get something where these two eventually do meet up again and he is able to not really lash out at her, more talk it out and such without having a point of yelling at each other. I also do feel bad for Sarah because yes, at the same time, you don't get super drunk. And then hang out with a guy and shit. And, and this is more Rudy. Um, <laughs> hella drunk <laughs> and such. Next morning, you say the most absolute worst shit. And she overhears the conversation. Like, yes, okay, once again, I get it. Everybody has their own preference and shit. I, I've met guys who like big boobs and small boobs and stuff. You know, whatever whatever it is. You like boobs, boobs, it's okay. And such. But damn, to like literally talk back uh, saying that her body looks like a kid bra oh my god oh and then the fact that she had to overhear that shit too like you just fucked her all up with her confidence levels and such like damn i mean damn my child huh <sighs> The one time that I really wish his mom was here to really have a conversation with him. But of course, no, she's not. We're still looking for her. Oh my God. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode three of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode four. Bye, guys.